Hello, and welcome to the tutorial to make Counter-Strike maps with Valve Hammer Editor. If you do not have Valve Hammer Editor, then you're going to need to download it. So to download it, go to www.bmmaps.weebly.com You're going to want to download it, and it's going to be Mirror 1 for the manual installation, and Mirror 2 for the automatic installation. Once you have downloaded the program, Valve Hammer Editor, you're going to need the update that I created too. So, go back to the Downloads tab in the website, and the first one that'll be up is the Valve Hammer Editor Update. You're going to want to download that. It should already be, you should already be able to extract it to the right point. It should be the default point. Okay. So, once you get Valve Hammer Editor, you're going to want to open it, go to the Tools tab, press Options, and then Game Configurations. Make a um, game file named C-Strike, and then for the um, Game Configurations tab, open up wherever you installed Valve Hammer Editor, then go to the folder, FGD, Counter-Strike, then CS Tom Expert blah 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 dot FGD. Load that up. Then go to the Textures tab. Press Add Wad. Go to wherever you installed Counter Strike. Then look in C Strike. Then go find C Strike dot Wad. That is the file for the textures that you need. Then click File and New. We're going to show you how to create a basic square. So first select the texture by pressing the browse button. I like the wood texture, so I'm going to select the wood texture. Draw it, press enter, make a basic square pretty much. Now Valve Hammer Editor and Counter-Strike maps have a problem. They need to be airtight, so we need to enclose this whole box. So, let's start making the walls. Make them do about this height. Then, hold shift and drag to copy the walls to each side. Now we need to make a ceiling. So make a brush across the whole thing and raise it to the top. Press enter. Now for people, players able to to make players able to play this, we need spawns. So click on this retarded looking light bulb and you will get spawns. Oh, we've got a problem. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. So now all we need to do to add in the um and it spawns is click on the most retarded looking light bulb, drop down the drop down menu, and click info player start. That is the counter terrorist spawn. Place it in the corner of your map and raise it up to a direct height. The height you see in the side camera is about how big a counter terrorist is. Okay, now we need to add the terrorist spawn. So add that in the opposite corner of the map by clicking on Entity, drop down list, Info Player Deathmatch. There's your terrorist spawn. Now no players will be able to see until we add a light. So let's add a light to our map. Click on Entities, the drop down menu, then Light. Put it in the middle of your map by the ceiling. And there you go. You have your basic Counter-Strike map. I'll make another tutorial. 